This is my new solar panel in the making. I'm actually uh, just finishing it up. It's putting about 3.75 amps out, which is roughly 65 watts. This will uh, be my second solar panel for the off-grid trailer. Right now what I'm about to do is drill a hole. I'm going to put the, uh, the cable through, solder to the plus and minus. On this panel, I'm only going to have one hole going through to the outside, and then I can silicone that, seal it up tight. And I have this ATV wiring harness. I just picked up a tractor supply. So you can see that cable end. That's a, a weatherproof outdoor plug, so it'll be better. So I'm about to mount that through here. Might have to make the hole a little bit bigger. I don't want to go too big so I don't have such a large hole to fill up later. Perfect. Now I've got the wire sized up. So the bottom of the solar cells is plus and it comes out over here so I'll run the red to the plus. Strip a bit of these off. This one will have to be trimmed. I'm going to bend the edge of this up a little bit, lay my wire inside it and fold it over, and then fold the wire over that to get a secure connection. And then I'll heat up my soldering iron and I'll solder it. That's going to slide in right there. I have a nice little gap in there. It fits that wire perfectly. And I'll stick this into the silicone later when I seal these edges. Now I gotta heat up my soldering iron. Okay, my soldering iron's hot, so I'm just going to solder this on and make a secure connection. And the minus. And that's it for soldering. Now I'm going to run a bead of silicone along the inside of this to make extra sure this never leaks any moisture into my solar cells. The last time I did it, I did on the outside only. Which is fine, it didn't leak, but it also leaked under the plexiglass eventually. Um, the plexiglass got hot and warped, so I have a solution for that as well. We'll take care of that in the future. 
Right now I'm just going to run this bead all the way along the inside of this lip. You don't want any moisture coming into your solar cells. Make a nice, thick, generous bead all the way along the edge and side. After all, you want to make sure that these last a long time, maintenance free for you. And get a lot of silicone around the wires. Seal that. I'm going to seal them inside and out. <coughs> 